Good day and welcome back to Awakened Faith Channel. Sharing from One Beloved Brother I recently received a vision from the Lord about the state of Texas in the United States. Even if you're not from Texas or don't really care about it, I think this message can still relate to you. Seriously, what the Lord showed me is something I believe many Texans will immediately recognize when they hear it. This vision came to me but it wasn't the first time I had seen it. I had this same vision a few months before, but this time, I finally understood what it meant. In the vision, I saw the shape of Texas on a map, but it was flipped upside down, as if someone had cut it out and turned it over. After seeing this vision for the second time, I prayed about it because I knew God was trying to tell me something. Then, I heard the strangest thing from the Holy Spirit, the Rascal Flat State. At first, I was confused because I knew Rascal Flats was a band, but I wasn't sure what that had to do with Texas. After looking into it more, I realized God wasn't talking about the band. He was using the term to explain something deeper. God was using Texas as an example, but I believe this message applies to believers everywhere, not just in Texas. Specifically, God was highlighting a problem common in places like Texas, especially in what's known as the Bible Belt. Many of us struggle with truly believing we need God's grace. We've been in church our whole lives, read the Bible for a long time, or have family members who are Christians, and because of that, we start to think, I'm doing pretty well. No wonder God is blessing me. But when we think this way, our relationship with God can become distant and even a bit hypocritical. This message isn't just for you, it's for me too. I really needed to hear this when the Lord spoke to me because it reminded me of my own story. I grew up in church, and by the time I was in high school, I was full of pride. I looked around at everyone else and thought, I'm so much more blessed than they are. I was getting good grades, I became popular at my new school, I was on the basketball team, involved in theater, and everything I hoped for was coming true. I was even getting ready to go to college. Everything in my life was falling into place, but it led me to a place of pride, where I believed I had earned it all. The truth that the Holy Spirit reminded me of is powerful, grace means unmerited favor. Unmerited means something you didn't earn, can't earn, and don't deserve. We can never reach a point where we've earned God's grace or favor because it's always about what Jesus did for us on the cross. No matter how long we've walked with God, it's always about His grace. The Bible warns us in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 12, Therefore let the one who thinks he stands watch out that he does not fall. Similarly, Proverbs 16 verse 18 says, Pride goes before destruction, and the haughty spirit before a fall. Pride is deceptive, it's like a false lover that lifts you up only to let you down. But Jesus is the true lover who will never let you down. He gave everything for you, pouring out his heart, life, soul, and body. He shed his blood for you so that you could experience the fullness of God's grace. This is a reminder that no matter how much we achieve or how good we think we are, it's all because of God's grace and nothing else. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross is the ultimate expression of that grace, and it's something we should never forget. Now, back to the vision. I did some research and found out that Rascal Flats is a country band. I didn't know much about them, but the Holy Spirit told me to Google Rascal Flats backwards. Remembering the vision of Texas being flipped, this made sense. I discovered they had a song titled, Backwards. I looked up the lyrics and as soon as I read one line, I knew what the Holy Spirit was saying. The lyrics say, when you play a country song backwards, you get your house back, your dog back, your best friend back, your truck back. It's a humorous take on how country songs are often about loss, and playing them backwards would bring everything back. Then it says, you get your pride back, you get your life back. In that moment, 
The Holy Spirit made it clear, if we think we're better because we're blessed with all these things, and because we haven't lost them, we haven't truly understood God's grace. During 2020, when so many were struggling due to the economic crisis from lockdown of pandemic and everything else, this lesson became even more important. What I noticed living in Texas was that not as many people here seem to be as affected as those in other parts of the world. This is just my perspective, but I really saw a difference. For example, I joined a Zoom call with some friends from India, and when I shared the word with them, it was hard not to cry just seeing how much they were struggling emotionally with everything that happened last year. We are so blessed to live in the United States, especially in Texas. But I realized that some of my pride shows when I say that, and I need to remind myself of the lesson I'm sharing today. The Holy Spirit showed me that what we truly need, something we often don't think we need, is the fear of the Lord. When we have the fear of God in our hearts, it helps us see how much we really need His grace. Instead of comparing ourselves to others and assuming what God thinks of us based on how well we're doing compared to someone else, the fear of the Lord pushes us to truly seek out God's opinion. When we understand God's opinion, we see that the perfect standard is Jesus Christ, and none of us ever fully meet that standard on our own. It doesn't matter if you've been in church for years, if you're a preacher, pastor, or missionary, none of us are perfect in our own efforts. We always need God's grace. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, acknowledging your boundless grace and love that sustain us every day. Lord, in the midst of our trials and uncertainties, we seek your guidance and comfort. Grant us the strength to face each challenge with faith and courage, knowing that you are with us in every moment. Help us to trust in your divine plan, even when we cannot see the path ahead. Fill us with your peace, that surpasses all understanding, and let your light shine through us to guide others in their times of need. We ask for your wisdom to make choices that honor you and your will, and for your protection over our loved ones and ourselves. May your will be done in our lives, and may we always be a reflection of your love and grace to the world around us. We surrender our worries and fears to you, confident that you hold our future in your hands. Thank you for your unending faithfulness and for the promise of eternal life through your Son, Jesus Christ. In his precious name, we pray. Amen.